my grandfather, an uh, immigrant from Greece, came to uh, Toledo in 1917. A lot of our recipes are 50 and 80 plus years old. A lot of the dressing recipes and uh, how we butcher our steak, uh, the stocks we use for our soups. So we have a lot of uh, time-honored uh, recipes that we pay respect to. Each and every day a butcher comes. We have a meat aging cooler and he pulls meat from the cooler uh, and, and cuts the meat every day. So that's something that my grandfather used to always do and uh, we have a baker here every day and he's making fresh baked breads. We're real proud of our service staff and, and the average tenure, about 11 years right now. So we, even, even some of the, the younger servers you see are, are around here have already been here for five years. Our French onion soup, we start with a 15 hour veal stock and then we make our soup from there. We're real proud of our wine list. We have usually around 200 items on the wine list and probably another 30 or 40 items that are kind of stashed away upstairs. Manchie's Italian Grill, it's gonna be uh, 17 years old this April. We're doing fresh linguine in-house, fresh fettuccine, fresh mozzarella in-house. We make all our own sauces. Matt's in charge of the entire kitchen. Yeah, we got buff onion working, we got the trumani working, two ball in the oven. From our sauces to our tiramisu that's made in-house, same way for 17 years, it's a staple here. Nobody. And then when you come to the Italian, we're making our own pizza dough, our own whole wheat pizza dough. Right. Uh, we, the desserts, the cheesecakes, it's all in-house. The pizza recipe has been the same for 17 years. Right. The sauce has been the same. I love making a pizza and creating something. Our wood-fired oven, we've, you know, this oven's, stone oven's been in here for uh, 17 years. Our fresh fish, our steaks, our lasagna, the recipe, 30 layers. It's 100% bolognese meat lasagna. The thing about Manchie's Italian Grill and it, that I, I don't say enough of, it takes a lot of commitment from my employees. And by far, I got a great staff that's been here a while. Early 2000s when the barbecue boom started happening up north here and my wife and I were looking for ribs, we we're looking for some pulled pork, there was nowhere around to get it. When we opened up in 2003 there was really no one doing, you know, people thought barbecue was your backyard grill throwing a burger on there. We put our rub on it which is our seasoning. We take the pork, which is pork shoulder, and we take the brisket, which okay. is the beef, and we cover it in that rub. We throw it in a smoker, and it cooks overnight. One of my favorite is uh, the Hawaiian tuna dish. Trying to have a little Asian fusion with pickled ginger, wasabi, some stir fry, sticky rice, and the tuna. Salmon ravioli with the butternut squash. Ravioli with the salmon and the maple bourbon sauce. And then every once in a while my kid comes here and they'll say, Dad, can I have king crab? We're a third generation restaurant. We were kids working in the business. Now we're older and our kids are starting to work in the business. It's awesome because now we're moving to the fourth generation and it's real exciting. <laughs>